The rotation schedule is made up of three main components, which all have to be in place before you can schedule any learner. The first component is the learner list. If you've not already added your learners to your Rolodex, please see below for additional resources on managing your Rolodex. Another component required for a rotation schedule are the rotations themselves. Please see below for additional resources on managing rotations. This video will go over block templates, which is another mandatory component to rotation scheduling. Let's dive in. Blocks are the lengths of time which rotations can be scheduled into. For example, if all of your rotations are four weeks long, then you may want to create a four week block template. If the rotations in your program vary in length, then you'll want to choose the lowest number of weeks that works for the schedule needed. For example, if some rotations are three weeks long and some are two weeks long, you will need to have a one week block template. This is because a block three weeks long won't work for those in two week long rotations and vice versa. If this is the first time your program has ever had any blocks, they will need to be created for you. Please submit a ticket to the support team with the date your rotations start and end, as well as the length of the rotations or blocks needed. It's also great to know how many blocks this would add up to in order to confirm the template details. Once a block template exists, you won't have to contact support every year. After the first year, you're able to roll over the block templates or template you need yourself, unless they require a different type of template or a different number of blocks. So if a block template already exists in your program with the correct number of blocks, but it does not show up in the new academic year, you can roll over the block from the last academic year. If the number of blocks needed has changed and is different from the previous year, you will need to contact 145 to create new blocks for you. The team will take into consideration any lotteries, linkages, or workflows that may be affected by the changes needed. To roll over your blocks yourself, first ensure you are in the new academic year via the drop down menu in the top left corner of 145. Once 145 has refreshed and is now in the new academic year, click Schedules and then click Rotation Schedule. From there, you click the button that says Import from last year. You will be shown a list of the blocks and the dates that they begin and end. You can adjust individual date fields by clicking on the date itself, navigate to the correct month on the calendar tool, and click on the relevant day. If, however, the dates are all off by a set number of days, it may be easier to adjust all of the blocks either forward or backwards by clicking on the radio button next to forwards or backwards, then choose the number of days you wish to adjust the dates by, and then click OK. You can only adjust the dates by seven days at a time, but you can adjust the dates more than once if they are more than seven days off. Once your dates are correct, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click Submit Blocks to apply your changes. Once the blocks are rolled over, you'll see a green success message. At any time during the year, if you find that your block dates are incorrect, you can adjust the dates by going to Set Up and then Manage Blocks. This is the page where you can edit the dates of multiple block templates or roll over a secondary block template after you've already rolled over the first one. There may be times when a program needs more than one block template. If your learners are scheduled into more than one rotation or learning activity at a time, you likely will need a secondary template. Sometimes this secondary line will indicate a site-specific rotation where the primary line is a generic program-based rotation. A second block line can be the same length as the first one or different. It can also start at the same time or at a different time than the primary template. If you need a second line but don't currently have one, please contact 145 support. If you had a secondary line in the previous year and need to roll over both the secondary and the primary block templates, you can roll over one block template from Schedules, Rotation Schedule, as reviewed previously in this video. The second template will need to be rolled over from Setup, Manage Blocks. How to manage your rotations list will be covered in another video called Rotations, linked below.